guys, today I'm going to be talking about the first couple pages, um, up until page 28 actually, of A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. So I'm going to start out by telling you a little bit about the book and then give you a quick summary about what happened in the 28 pages of the novel. So this novel was actually written in 1962 by Anthony Burgess and there's actually two versions. There's the American version and the UK version. Um, the UK version was written with 21 chapters while the um, American version was actually written with 20 chapters. This is because um, when Burgess took his novel to an American editor, the editor wanted to take out the last chapter because he thought it was a little too boring. But the version that I'm going to be reading is actually the UK version, so it has all 21 chapters like Burgess originally wanted. So an interesting thing about this book is that the teens, they use this certain language called NADSA, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and this language is a mix of English and Russian slang. Some terms that they use to give you some examples is mesto, which means place. Another one is noche, which means night. It kind of sounds like noche in Spanish. And malenki, which means little. So this novel is narrated by Alex, which is our main character. And it begins in a certain milk bar where they serve milk because they don't actually have um, an alcohol license but the special thing about this milk bar is that they actually put drugs in the milk such as meth and cocaine so Alex is at this milk bar with three of his friends and they're kind of like a gang his friends are Pete, Georgie, and Dim Dim is like I would say his homie like his right hand man um so while they're in this room alex just kind of describes the setting and it, it seems to take place in like a futuristic type of setting then he talks about the kind of fashion that they wear and what he's seen and so the fashion that they wore was kind of interesting to me um they would wear like well the men actually would wear a pair of black tights um, and an old jelly mold that was fitting that fit under the crotch underneath the tights um, to protect them and they and some of them had like shapes they also wore jackets without lapels um, but that had like really big shoulders and then off-white cravat, cravats, I don't know how, what that is, and they wore boots. So Alex and his gang are very violent people. In the story, the, the first 28 pages, I would say, basically consists of them carrying out violent acts. For example, the first thing that they did was that they saw this guy and he was just walking out from a library and they saw his books and they called them filthy and inappropriate and then they threw the man to the ground and they started pulling out his fake teeth and ripping off his clothes. Um, another thing that they did was they saw a, they robbed a store and they saw another gang with the leader being Billy Boy and they began to fight and then I, I would think that this is an important part of the story because there was a lot of emphasis put on it so the boys steal a car and they do the old surprise visit is what Alex calls it 
and they stop at a cottage with a garden and they walk up to the door and this lady answers and then Alex tells the woman that his friend was hurt and that they needed an ambulance and the lady said then Alex says um, is there any way that we could borrow a phone and the lady says that she doesn't have a phone Alex responds do you at least have some water because he's not doing well and the lady leaves to go get water but she leaves the door open and the gang put on their masks and they enter the house the man there's this man in the house and he like sees that they're there and he's all startled and he's like yelling at them asking them why they're there and stuff like that and and the two other boys Pete and Georgie go into the kitchen while Alex and Dim stay together and there's this man in the house that is like startled and he starts yelling why are you here why are you here and then the lady is just scared to death and um Alex notices a book and the title is A Clockwork Orange. So this brings me to why I believe that A Clockwork Orange is called what it is called. So the reason I think that it is called this is because when Alex rips up this book that he found, it is indeed called A Clockwork Orange. So as for themes, I think the most prominent theme in A Clockwork Orange is the violence. Um, as you can, as I explained, in 20 pages into the book, all you pretty much all I pretty much read was just about violence, people getting killed, stabbed, mugged. So yes, that, that is for themes. And for predictions, I do indeed think that there's going to be more violence, obviously, because that is basically how that town works. And I also think that later in the book, this cottage that was where the lady was basically raped and the dude got his book ripped up. I do think that that's gonna come out later in the story and that's pretty much it for my vlog. Thank you for watching.